Hello everyone, Jestro here, and today I have a cryogonal guide. Now, cryogonal is one of the most underrated ice types. Even more than Glalie, even more than Regice, even more than Vanillux, because cryogonal can actually do some decent work if you give it the right set, and the right teammates, and the right move. Well, you know what? You gotta really focus hard to make cryogonal work. So, as you can see, I have six cryogonal sets. First one being the face freeze set. We have heavy duty boots, levitate, rapid spin, recover, freeze dry, and knock off. Now you will have to transfer knock off onto this thing, but I would say it's worth it. With max HP, 208 in the speed, and 48 into that beefy 135 special defense with a timid nature. Now, Cryogonal can't do. M okay. okay, Cryogonal can do a lot. It just takes a lot of trial and error, to say the least. Cryogonal is one. It's a very good rapid spinner, to say the least, because it has the ability to levitate, meaning that it is immune to spikes, it's immune to sticky webs, so you don't have to worry about that. And. Once again, we have that beefy 135 special defense, which becomes 318. Once again, I love Cryogonal because of the fact how it can do a lot. It gets Recover, which heals up half the health, which we're going to be needing since we have absolutely no physical defense, at least not of this set. Next up, we have Freeze Dry, which not only does it have a 10% chance to freeze, it's super effective on water, and it's a stab move with 70 base power. It's not bad. It's good to be able to hit Swampert, which is everywhere. It can hit Nido King. It can hit Landorus, if it can manage to outspeed Landorus. And yeah. Last up, we have Knock Off. It's Knock Off. You use it to get rid of leftovers, choice art items, whatever. If you wanted to, you could also run Toxic just to cripple your opponent, but given that there's heal bells, aromatherapy, natural cure everywhere, I just like to cripple my opponent as much as possible. Next up, we've got the Weepogonal set. It's a choice spec set, with choice specs as the item, Levitate, Ancient Power, Freeze Dry, Ice Beam, and Flash Cannon with max speed, max special attack, and the rest of it going into the special defense. Now, Cryogonal is a... It has moves. It has lots of very good moves. But its special attacking move pool, it's lackluster. It gets ice moves, rock moves, water move, as in, you know... Just Water Pulse and Steel Moves and Flash Cannon. But, hey, it's the best we got, so I'm going to try to use it. Ancient Power, it's a good move to have. It hits the Flying Types, even though you have an Ice Move that can already hit them. Freeze Dry, it hits Water Types and is a stab move. But if you didn't want to go Freeze Dry, you can go for Ice Beam, which is like Freeze Dry, except it doesn't... It's not super effective against water types, and has the same 10% chance to freeze, but is stronger. Now if you want to, you could run Blizzard, but accuracy, I'm not going to risk it. And finally, we have Flash Cannon. It's a coverage move. Not much to it. It's a very good coverage move, because it hits a lot of fairy types, but a lot of fairy types are extremely bulky. Also, Magirna is a thing, and we have no way to hit Magirna, which sucks. Yeah, this is a choice spec set, in case you didn't get the joke, cryogonal, weepogonal, wordplay. Moving on, we have the choice band set, aka the flexagonal set. Choice band, levitate, explosion, poison jab, triple axle, night slash, with an adamant nature, max attack, max speed, little into the special defense. Now, when I said Cryogonal has moves, it has a lot of good moves. It gets a lot of support moves, 
but it also has a surprising amount of physical moves. And you wouldn't normally run a physical cryogonal because its base attack stat is only 50. And the only way you could raise its attack stat is with Sharpen, but Sharpen only boosts it by one. I'll get back to that in another set. So, it gets Triple Axle. In fact, it gets a couple of new moves that it can use. Triple Axle is one of them, but it also got Avalanche and Icicle Spear. Other physical stab moves that Cryogle didn't have. At most, it had Ice Shard. And, well, now that it has other moves, you don't have to just run Ice Shard. And Choice Band is boosting our physical attack, meaning that Triple Axle is actually a decent option. Not the best option, but a decent option. Explosion is there because, well, if we're gonna go out, might as well go out with a bang. Poison Jab is there. It's coverage. Poison is very good coverage to have, especially considering the fact how, once again, fairies are everywhere. But you're not gonna be able to touch the gear now. And finally, Night Slash. Now, if you want to transfer it over, you can definitely put on knockoff. In fact, I would recommend you put on knockoff because we'll be able to cripple Spectreer. And if you haven't battled Spectreer in OU as of lately, I. It's pain. It is painful because it outspeeds, it does massive damage, it'll be. It'll will a spew, then it will mud shot you, and then it'll hex you to death. And then it's get plus one into a special attack, and then it's gonna rinse and repeat all over until you get swept. However, Cryogonal has that meaty base 135 special defense, which makes it so that way it doesn't have to worry as much about Spectreer and its willow, not willow wisping, but special attacking moves. But it does hate getting burnt, because our physical attack is already very, very low. Anyways, the next set that we have is the Hexogod set. With Leftovers, Levitate, Recover, Acid Armor, Freeze Dry, and Rapid Spin. Max HP, Max Defense, Little into the Special Defense. So, in Generation 7, Cryogonal got a stat boost. It now has base 50 physical defense, which beforehand it was 30, and a 10 boost into the HP, making it from 70 to 80. And while 80 isn't the highest, it is very w usable compared to base 70 and a lot of other bulky Pokemon. Can't tell, but I'm using air quotes. I'm not sure why I just said that. Anyways. Since we're not going to be using our physical attack that much, I decided to go for the bold nature, Acid Armor. Acid Armor raises our defense by two stages. Now you might be wondering, why not just go for Iron Defense? That's simple. Toxapex. Yes, it can tox toxic us, which sucks, but with our defense stat, we need to be able to take our defenses. Poor wording. Uh, what I meant to say is this. Toxapex normally run Haze. Haze can very much cripple a Cryogonal because we don't have any way to attack. We don't have any good, good options on this set. Acid Armor is there so that way we can come as bulky as possible and we have Freeze Dry to hit Toxapex and try to do as much damage as possible, while well, Rapid Spin is there just to remove hazards. So, yeah. Acid Armor, instead of Iron Defense, because of the fact that it has more power points, which means we can use it more often. So, yeah. It's a bulky set. This is a pretty fun set. I have used it, and it it works okay. Anyways, we've next got the most interesting set I have made for Cryogonal yet. The Flake set. Weakness policy, 
Acrobatics, Ender, Triple Axle, Night Slash, Jolly Nature, Max Speed, Max Attack. Now, Ender. We have a lot of weaknesses as a Nice type. And lots of those weaknesses are in the OU meta. Ender will allow us to survive on at least 1 HP. I mentioned before that our physical attack is absolute trash. But, we have Endure plus Weakness Policy. And while Sharpen would only boost our physical attack by one stage, this will boost it by two stages. Meaning that we actually have some physical damage that we can dish. Next up, Acrobatics. Acrobatics doubles in power if the user has no held item. So basically, if I did the math correctly, we have a base 110 physical move. But, if we were to, you know, Dynamax our Cryogonal, we go from Max Airstream, if we take something out, we will get plus one speed. So now, we hit fast, I mean, we hit hard, and we're fast. That is terrifying. Triple Axle, it's an amazing physical stab move to have. The m more it hits, the power rises. So if I remember correctly, it goes from 20 to f 40 to 90. Let me just go double check that real quick. Yep, just double checked. It's 60. Which is still very, very usable. Especially since Landorus is everywhere. But, if you wanted to not run Triple Axle, you can run Icicle Spear, which admittedly has lower base power than Triple Axle, but is still a very good option, it can't miss, and it can break subs. And then finally, there's Night Slash. It has a high crit ratio, and it's very good coverage to have, but if you wanted to... There is another move, let me see if I can find it. You could just run, you know, Poison Jab, just so that way you can hit even more things. But, I prefer to have the dark coverage just because of the fact how... Once again, Spectre here, lots of ghost types, lots of psychic types. And yeah. This is a very interesting set. And finally... We have the Tyndall set. It's, I don't know why I say this for last. It's just a light clay set with light screen reflect, rapid spin, and freeze dry, max speed, 8 into the special defense, and the rest of it going into the HP with a timid nature. Go for reflect first turn because we won't be surviving anything else otherwise. Light screen is there, just so... It, we get double the screens, so that way you can survive more hits. Rapid spin to get rid of other hazards. And freeze dry is there for stab and to hit Swamper, which does come in often. Goes for yawn, goes for stealth rocks, and overall just would demolish a cryogonal. But freeze dry helps us take care of that. So yeah, this has been the Cryogonal Guide. I enjoy Cryogonal. Like I said, it's the most underrated Pokemon. Well, most underrated Ice-type Pokemon. You can keep the wall reins, all... everything else. Cryogonal, it's second best compared to Regice. Regice just... Regice is amazing. Who knows, maybe, maybe my opinion will change after using this in the next guide battle. Anyways, this is Justro. And I'll be seeing you next time. Peace.